and welcome! Watching another YouTube video about some sort of art in so famous Procreate app, I got an inspiration. It's surely more easy for me to draw something, some sort of green sticker in Procreate. But we are not going the easiest way. Decided to try and make a sticker using Affinity Designer. My thoughts was around should it be more realistic or more like a handmade. Decided to make it kind of handmade and that's mean if you want to achieve more realistic looking plant sticker then check my video where I cartooned myself using Affinity Designer. General idea the same. Video would be in description. For now, let's return to our piece of work. And I chose here horizontal orientation. Then I realized that I need a vertical one. If you want to try and follow, just make sure that you picked the right orientation for your masterpiece. Little advice here, find a reference for your art. Because it's kinda hard to make something not so ugly without an object or example. There are two different ways how you can create a shape that you need. First, by hand like you are drawing and second it's what i chose found a shape that so close to my needs as it can be chose an object then find a node tool it's a second strange shaped arrow under the regular one if you are using ipad look at the bottom of your screen there should be a button called curves this function allows you to add dots and change curves. As a result, you can make changes to your shape. There are a lot more buttons, but it's definitely would go beyond time limits that we have here. Okay, now we have our base shape and we need stems for our leaves. Here I used a pen tool but you can use a brush or a pencil tool. Anyway, choose the right size and color. Because our shape line could be changed easily with notes tools that I mentioned previously. That's something that I really like when I'm using Affinity Designer, no matter where. At this point you can add a border color gradient, transparency, if you want, of course. Maybe even some shades and some amount of little details. All of it depends on your preferences and styles that you want to achieve. I discovered that I want it to be vertical, but I mentioned it earlier. Don't make my mistakes and plan your layout.
I don't want it to look like a logo for some company. And I just need to add a little bit of Procreate without Procreate itself. I mean, from a vector persona, we are switching to pixel persona. You can change it by using menu at the top. I can look like a bunch of dots. After switching to this mode, your left sidebar should change accordingly. Before it, I added an oval background. All brushes that I use here, it's default brushes for Affinity Designer. For background, I chose dust brush. Try different brushes and change settings, at least size. If you want to achieve something interesting and unique. With our main object, I used different gouache brushes for different leaves. But I insist, just give a chance and try different categories. It's almost done, but for my taste it's kind of flat. To change it, I just prefer to add some shadows, outside and inside. Outside it's usually black shadows that you can smooth or leave with a sharp edge. But, and yeah, that a lot of but, shadow depend on your background. Main idea here to add contrast. That's why for black or any sort of dark paper, better to use light color. It needs some adjustments and time to find golden part. But it's really depend on your project and goal. If it's something for background, maybe you don't need it. In my case, I knew that I want it to be like a standalone masterpiece. Thank you for watching. If you're still here, I assume that you like this video, then subscribe to make me happy. And for those who did it, thank you. Also, don't forget to leave your suggestions down below. I can't read your mind. Bye bye and see you in my next video.